Ace here. Just wanted to uh, go over the project or obsession, whatever you want to call it, what I did to uh, Zoisha the lawn up uh, with the plugs. What I did is I uh, had this unit right here, this plugger. This thing got stuck over the years. I bought this about 10 years ago. It's pretty good size plug, you can see. I mean, it creates a three inch uh, square plug about three inches deep or so. It's a nice cube that it creates. It's pretty big, it's good survival rate. Uh, but it got jammed up. You know, I gotta get that thing, uh, pull it out and straighten it out. I actually cut it probably and straighten it out or something. Um, I forget how much I paid for it, maybe like 30 bucks or so. 10 years ago. Then I got a replacement here. This one's a little, a little cheaper design. Uh, you can see how the thing's supposed to, uh, when you plug something up, you can see how you can just push on it. I don't know if you can see it in the right contrast here. But it makes the same size too. The, uh, the one with the yellow handle is a little larger, a little more beefier, bigger handle, you know. But Anyway, that's kind of tedious because you got to do them one at a time. I wound up buying this uh, Pro Plugger here, one that you heard just fall behind me a few minutes ago. Uh, I ordered the XL. This doesn't say XL, but they make two of them. And uh, it's supposed to be, you can see right through it, uh, it's supposed to be a uh, two and a quarter inch. I don't know what, I didn't bother measuring it. Uh, the website said it's supposed to be the size of a tennis ball. Uh, I don't know about that, but anyway, the tube, the way it works, uh, this side here is uh, diameter is smaller than the top, so the way it works is uh, when you plug something up, like say, I'm going to pick a spot here, and these are part of my tools here, the, uh, this plugger, I got some peat moss right here behind it, uh, you can see some of the old plugs. Uh, in the bucket here. What I'll do is I'll pull the old plugs out, dump them in the wheelbarrow, crush them up, get some of the uh, loose grass, the old grass off of them, put about 20%, 25% max of the peat moss, mix it in together, and I got some of this uh, organic uh, plant food here. I'll take a handful, literally just a handful, throw it in and mix it all up, and that's my plug replacement. Sometimes if I'm lazy, if I'm trying to do something real quick or it's pouring rain, I'll just use the old plugs and put them in the old holes. But anyway, and also I got a can of this Rust-Oleum uh, marking paint, inverted marking paint. It's uh, international orange or whatever they call it. So what I'll do, oh, and also the probe plugger comes with this, uh, with two rings here. You can see on the rings here, let me put it in the sunlight. Uh, if I were to put this one on, it comes up to about here. You can see my previous market. It makes it pretty deep, like around a five inch uh, uh, core. But really, I didn't feel it needed that much, so I went with a smaller ring uh, to make a smaller core. So that's only gives you about maybe a two and a half inch uh, deep core, which is fine. Put that back. So what I'll do is I'll grab the core, uh, the plugger, I mean, and I'll grab my paint, I'm trying to do this while I hold the phone, and you can see I pretty much did everything here already. I mean, I got them about three feet apart or so. If I see a spot that I feel that I might need to fill in in between, you can see some of the dead spots here. You know, uh, this is from the fescue that really just died. Uh, from um, a lot of rain we had in June and just all just drowned it I guess but and you can see this nutball grass I hate that stuff that's the stuff that when you uh, uh, cut your lawn the next day it's an inch tall already uh, but anyway um, nutball they call it nutball because uh, let me pull some up here it has this kind of a weird I don't know that's that's what I was told but anyway what I'll do is I'll grab a spot like right here and I'll mark a line and I'll just push the plugger in just like so and give it a twist and and now the, the core is inside what I'll do is I'll just do another one while here just for demonstration 
purposes. You see another spot here that I might need uh, that I think that can uh, work. Uh, let's see. I have them pretty well evenly spaced. This stuff grows about uh, two feet a year. Uh, so, eh, let me see, just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> I'll throw one right here. I'll just mark a line there. And why do I do a line? Well, I'm going to lose, I, I won't remember where it's at if it's uh, any other shape for right now. There we go. Suppose you can jump on. All right, I'll leave the paint there. Now, this is the uh, the lazy part of it here. I'm just gonna uh, use the uh, old cores for the uh, replacement instead of uh, using my peat moss mix, which I normally do. The peat moss gives it a better uh, environment to live in. Uh, you know, to regrow the uh, uh, the good stuff. I mean, out front. I mean, to regenerate where I'm pulling the plugs from. You can see the holes I've already done here. I'm going to try to find a spot here that I haven't touched. Yeah, you can see that's nice thick joysia here. Uh, you can see more holes up here. Go around to the other side. You can see some parts of this is zoysia, some isn't. Some of the snuff ball crap here. I have to get that stuff to uh, treat it, but who cares? You can see some of the zoysia here coming up along the side. Uh, there's some zoysia right there. Some of this in between under the tree. It's not exactly zoysia. Uh, it's because zoysia is not really that great with shade uh, tolerant. It loves uh, sunlight. It loves lots of water. Anyway, you can see my farm over here. Pretty much, that's what it is. You can see all the holes that I've already pulled up. Some of these are with the three inch plugger. That's why they're so large. Uh, these over here are the round uh, ones from the uh, round plugger. So what I'll do is, I know there's a spot right here I haven't touched right along this plant. I'll turn the plugger upside down, push that in, and you can see they fall right out. There's That's the old plugs. I'll grab two plugs here from the fresh solution. Yep. Gonna kind of jump on it because of the zoysia is so thick. Because it creates a, it creates two layers. And see, I'll just push these right in here, just to replace them, make sure they're flat. So I'll take that grass, all grass out. There we go. I'll kind of step on it, make sure it feels even. There we go. Now I got the two cores in the tube. Uh, zoysia creates a, uh, uh, it grows by stolons. It's not really the greatest with uh, seed propagation unless you got pure clean dirt. Uh, so the best way it propagates is with stolons, just like a spider plant. And uh, also at the surface, it creates a rhizome. Uh, yeah, you can see the contrast here between where some of the fescue died and the, uh, the lush zoysia uh, here. Uh, but it creates a rhizome web pattern right at the surface. Between that and the and the uh, the, the stolons and the roots, it uh, uh, propagates that way. I mean, it creates a thick bed. Now, where are those marks? See, now I forgot. Oh, here's one right here. See, well, it rained yesterday, but uh, there's not enough rain right now. Uh, water in here. So what I'll do is the best thing to do though is to do it when it's wet out. I'll grab the hose. <coughs> I got the spray head on it. Give a little water in there. That's all. Oops, I forgot to uh, dump the uh, the cores. Got to kind of push it to get a start. The last one started. And there we go. Get some of the other crap out of the way here and take the core and just squish it right in and that's it give it a little tap with my foot make sure it's in uh, get the other one over here I got the core with me 
Oh, or the plug, whatever you want to call it. Whoops, got my hand in the way of the camera. Sorry about that. That's the uh, plug. That's the other hole. Get the hose. Give it a little shot of water. Uh, water's coming out slow. It must be pinched somewhere. Alright, anyway, that's enough. Don't want, to, don't want to drown it, just enough to wet it. There we go. Then I'll... I'll see, see if you push that in. It's right there. Now I'll just complete the uh, shape so I know it's done. I'll go back to the other one. Complete the shape. And there it is. That's pretty much it. See, I replaced the old cores with the, uh, uh, I mean, I put the old cores in where I, I took the zoysia out out front, but uh, I mean, normally I would have used my peat moss mixture. But remember, with the peat moss, though, uh, it, it absorbs water, so it could actually, if you don't wet it, it'll actually uh, pull the moisture from the surrounding zoysia, uh, from the bed. So you really want to make sure you're going to, you know, water it uh or hopefully there's going to be a downpour coming you know anyway so this is pretty much what i did here you can see all the circles and shapes yeah it looks like miniature crop circles <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh, uh i do have a some here that are three inch cores or, or uh, plugs i kind of forget where they are but i know if i spot one oh here's one right here that's from a three inch uh, plug right there. This guy here, I put him in about three weeks ago. Here's another one. You can see how big they are compared to the smaller ones that I just did. See that? That's uh, crabgrass. <laughs> Lucia will just chuck that right out. Anyway, you can see what I did here. There, I don't know, I have close to a thousand plugs. There's a pile of nutball grass <laughs> that's kind of hand pulled. Huh, my wave blaster. Let me see if I can do a round kick. Whoa. Yep, there you go. Let's see if I can get that. That's uh, the pooper scooper. There we go. Anyway. You can see all the plugs, or the, uh, what I did here. I mean, they could be a little closer together. I really don't have that much zoysia out front to be able to uh, fill in it closer. I did it closer by the house so it spreads quicker. So maybe in a couple of years, this will be all uh, zoysia. The only problem is under the tree. This is a nice big tree here, pretty lush. I haven't cleaned it out. The other one I did clean out, so it shows more sunlight, it allows more sunlight through. But under here, I'm not too confident that it will spread as fast. I mean, I did, you know plug up uh, all the way around in some of the spots I had problems with uh, with the roots of course I tried not to disturb the roots ah need a little cleanup okay well from our puppy uh, Zena and or it could have been bear or older German Shepherd uh, but you can see all the plugs so is this was this a project yeah was it an obsession an obsession uh, borderline probably you know I just wanted to get it done because really I wanted to get this done before June and it's the end of July so this is kind of like borderline but hopefully these uh, plugs are large enough that they will survive uh, the, uh, the winter because once they survive the winter that's it you just kind of let nature take its course I'm going to water them and another reason why I got the uh, uh, the shapes here so I know how far apart they are number one number two uh, so I can walk around and water them for the first couple of weeks so the uh, the roots can get established once they start growing out and grabbing water moisture from other you know its surroundings and it, then it's established pretty much yeah this stuff does go dormant I'm in the uh, southeast PA area and we get about six months of green out of this stuff out of zoysia um, other six months it's brown but you know what this the stuff is so low maintenance that uh, what was that commercial late night commercial you just set it and forget it that's pretty much what it is I mean it does use 
it does like to get aerated during the spring, not the fall. Any other uh, grass likes it during the fall, where you can seed it and everything. This stuff, you aerate it in the uh, in the spring. Uh, give it some uh, high nitrogen uh, um, uh, liquid-based fertilizer, so it goes right in. You don't want to use the uh, the granules. I've read that in a couple different places about zoysia. So I wound up getting some Scotts liquid. It came up. To, uh, show, uh, the uh, label said 29% uh, nitrogen content. You just hook it up to your hose and water. One bottle takes care of. I think it was four or five thousand square feet. I think I got about maybe eight. Uh, well, I'm not sure. It's like 90 across by 100. Uh, 9,000 feet? Is that what I got here? I don't know. I, I got to sit there and figure it out. Uh, so I got two bottles of it. And uh, they say you, sp you can spray it down. And it'll actually show greener the next morning. I don't know that's, if that's uh, kind of a lot of hype or not. Or snake oil. But, you know, it is what it is. It is fertilizer. So that's all I care about. But anyway, you can see this project here. Uh... Yeah, I got all these different shapes here. But anyway, I thought I would uh, just document what I did. A lot of people are asking me, you know, uh, like, well, I'd like to say, oh, there's a tennis ball there. I, I knew there was one around here somewhere. Where's that plugger at? Where did I put that plugger? Oh, here it is. Let's see if this is true. And this is a worn out tennis ball. And it doesn't look like it's the size of a tennis ball to me. <laughs> So I might have got, I might have ordered the XL and got the uh, the wrong one. Either way, I got about a thousand plugs here. It's not like I'm going to redo them, <laughs> you know. I mean, if I did get the wrong one, matter of fact, I'll call customer service and see what's up with that. But and you can see uh, how some of the plugs are here, how they're coming up. You know, even if they're like a little yellowish like that, that's a square plug there. That's one of the three inches. Even though it looks yellow, leave it alone. There's a couple pieces of green out there. The roots are still alive, and well, believe me, the roots is what you got to worry about. And that's a square plug. I can see the outline. I, can, I put that in last week. But these are nice and stiff here. You can see the difference between bluegrass. This is like a bluegrass fescue combo. So I think it's more bluegrass, but uh, Kentucky blue. But you can see the difference in the color. It's like the fescue is a hair lighter. I mean, I'm sorry, the, uh, the zoysias are here later. And you see that? That's one of the round plugs. So, anyway, there you go. And I got this here because our puppy uh, was digging up uh, parts of the lawn. So once you, get, once you got a uh, fresh scent of dirt, that fresh dirt scent, she liked to dig further, so I had to cover it. And yeah, I painted right over that. I don't care, it's an old chair. Got another one there in the middle of the yard. That's what, in case you guys were wondering uh, what that is. That's another hole she dug up. I don't have a plug under that. But anyway, there you have it. Let's see what happens in a couple years. And uh, we'll take it from there. Once again, this is Ace. Have a great day.